We're embarking on an exciting journey today. A journey that takes us through the mesmerizing landscapes and rich tapestry of a nation that has been a cradle of civilization and a beacon of cultural richness, India. This series will take you across the vast plains, the arid deserts, the majestic mountains, the serene backwaters and the bustling cities of this incredible country. We'll be exploring India's size, its strategic location, its extensive coastline, its borders that connect it to several other nations and its central location that plays a pivotal role in global trade. We'll also delve into the significance of the mighty Himalayas and the numerous rivers that flow from it, shaping the country's geography and supporting its diverse ecosystems. Furthermore, we'll take a look at how India's geographical features have influenced its timekeeping and historical significance. We'll discover the remarkable diversity in its geography, from the snow-capped peaks of the Himalayas to the sandy beaches of its coastline, from the dense forests of the northeast to the dry Thar desert in the west. This journey will not just be about the physical aspects of India's geography. We'll also uncover how these geographical features have shaped the country's rich history, diverse cultures and vibrant traditions. So tighten your seat belts as we delve into the geographical marvels that make India a land of diversity, a land of contrasts and a land of surprises. Join us on this exciting adventure as we explore the magnificence and mysteries of this vast nation. Let the journey begin. India, an ancient civilization, has made substantial strides in various fields including agriculture, technology and industry. This diverse nation has an impressive history that stretches back thousands of years. It was a cradle of civilization, giving birth to two significant world religions, Hinduism and Buddhism. The nation has been a symbol of cultural richness with its vast reservoir of music, dance, art, literature and philosophy. The Indian subcontinent, strategically located between East and West Asia, plays an indispensable in global trade routes. It's positioned along the ancient Silk Route and modern maritime trade routes, reinforcing its pivotal role in connecting different parts of the world. This strategic location has had a profound impact on its history, culture and economy, facilitating the exchange of ideas, goods and people. But India's influence extends beyond its geography. It has been a major contributor to global progress in diverse fields, from the concept of zero in mathematics to pioneering in space exploration and information technology, India's contributions are noteworthy. The agrarian that once dominated is now accompanied by a thriving IT sector, a burgeoning automobile industry and robust textile and fashion industries. Moreover, India's vibrant democracy, the world's largest, reflects its complex social tapestry. It's a melting pot of cultures, traditions, languages and cuisines, each uniquely representing different parts of the country. The federal system of government allows for a diverse representation of its population across its numerous states and union territories. To comprehend the scale of India, one needs to grasp its geographical size. It's the seventh largest country in the world, boasting a total landmass of 3.28 million square kilometers. This land is divided into 28 states and 8 union territories, each with its own unique geography, culture and socio-political identity. This impressive size accommodates over 1.3 billion people, making India the second most populous country in the world. This colossal size is divided into 28 states and 8 union territories, each with its own unique geography and cultural identity. India's geographical location places it in the Northern Hemisphere. The country's extensive latitudes range from 8 degrees 4 minutes north to 37 degrees 6 minutes north. This diverse range of latitudes results in a wide array of climatic conditions throughout the nation emphasizing its rich biodiversity. It's not simply a land of diverse terrains but also a home to diverse ecosystems, each offering unique flora and fauna. Moreover, the longitudes of India further extend from 68 degrees 7 minutes east to 97 degrees 25 minutes east. This contributes significantly to the time difference experienced across the country. It's a unique geography that affects the daily lives of its citizens with varied sunrises and sunsets and diverse weather conditions over its vast expanse. Interestingly enough, India, 
is also the land where the Tropic of Cancer passes through, a critical geographical line that has a profound impact on the country's climate and agriculture. This invisible line, running approximately midway through the country, bisects India into two equal halves. This division adds another layer to the nation's climatic diversity, with the northern half experiencing a subtropical climate, while the southern half enjoys a tropical climate. Each half has its own unique climatic conditions, enriching the nation's overall geographical diversity. Thus, India's location is not just a geographical fact, but a testament to its diverse and rich heritage. Fascinatingly, the Tropic of Cancer bisects the country into two equal halves. It's a unique geographical feature that provides a distinct identity to the nation. Now, let's touch upon India's extensive coastline. It is a magnificent geographical feature that is far more than just a boundary separating land and water. We're talking about a massive stretch that is over 7,500 kilometers, a stretch that forms the very curves of the country, shaping its geographical identity, giving it a unique characteristic that few nations possess. This coastline is not just a scenic wonder, it is a lifeline. It is an essential artery that fuels the country's trade and commerce, providing it with a strategic advantage that has been instrumental in shaping its economic narrative. The strength of India's economy owes much to this extensive coastline. Waters that wash these shores belong to the vast Indian Ocean, a body of water that in itself is teeming with history and economic potential. These waters have allowed India to establish historical and economic links. The trade routes that traverse this ocean have been pathways for cultural exchange, fostering relationships with neighboring and distant countries alike. This long coastline is washed by the Indian Ocean, creating historical and economic links with neighboring and distant countries alike. India shares its boundaries with several nations including Afghanistan, Pakistan, Nepal, Bangladesh, Burma, and even island nations like Sri Lanka and the Maldives. This diverse range of neighboring countries makes India's geopolitical landscape extremely unique and complex. For starters, Afghanistan, a landlocked country, has been a crucial strategic point for India. This is mainly due to it being a gateway for trade and political influence in Central Asia. Moving forward, we come across Pakistan, a nation with which India shares a history of partition and several conflicts. The terrain here varies from the snowy mountains of Kashmir to the dry desert regions of Rajasthan. This border is considered one of the most dangerous in the world. Then there's Nepal and Bangladesh, countries with which India shares deep cultural, historical and economic ties. The open border with Nepal, the movement of people and goods, while the border with Bangladesh, one of the longest in the world, has its own set of complexities. Next is Burma, a country that plays a significant role in India's Act East policy. The border here is characterized by dense forests and hills, adding to the challenges of managing it. Finally, let's not forget the island nations of Sri Lanka and Maldives. Both these countries have a significant impact on India's maritime strategy, with the Indian Ocean playing a crucial role. Each of these borders has its own historical significance and presents unique opportunities and challenges for the nation. The central location of India in the Indian Ocean is a huge boon for trade, fostering ties with West Asia, Africa and Europe. This strategic location, coupled with the country's rich resources, has played a key role in its economic development. Another significant geographic feature of India is the majestic Himalayas. These towering peaks serve as a physical barrier protecting the country from harsh winters and providing a source of perennial rivers. India's timekeeping is based on the standard meridian of India. Despite the wide geographical spread, the entire country follows a single standard time. Historically, India has been a major contributor to the world in terms of ideas, philosophies and mathematics. Its central location and vast size have facilitated its contacts with various regions around the globe, making it a true melting pot of cultures. From the sun-kissed deserts of Rajasthan to the lush green tea gardens of Assam, from the snow-capped peaks of the Himalayas to the serene backwaters of Kerala, India's geographical diversity is truly awe-inspiring. Each of these regions has its own unique cultural and historical significance, adding to the rich tapestry that is India. This great variety in landscapes and climates has also resulted in a wide range of biodiversity, making India one of the world's mega-diverse countries. 
This diversity not only enriches the country's natural beauty but also contributes to its economic and social development. To wrap up, India's size and location play a significant role in its socio-economic fabric. The seventh largest country in the world, India's strategic position between East and West Asia and its extensive coastline on the Indian Ocean have made it a key player in global trade and commerce. Its diverse geography, from the towering Himalayan peaks to the fertile plains and coastal regions, has shaped its culture, economy and relations with the rest of the world. It's truly a nation of great geographic marvels and strategic importance.